Hey guys, uh, my name's Adam and today I'm going to be reviewing Escape from LA starring Kurt Russell. Um, also, I want to apologize in advance because uh, my neighbors are doing major landscaping in their yard and uh, they've got tractors and all that stuff going on. So it's going to be a little noisy, but I tried to pick the best sort of corner of my yard to filter out most of the noise and uh, make the best of it. So uh, we'll make the best of it. Um, now, also I want to say that I haven't seen Escape from New York, which is the movie that preceded this, but I still enjoyed this movie a lot. And um, the one thing that I kept seeing in other people's reviews when I sort of looked into what other people were saying about this movie, you know, it's like quite a few years old, it's like 10 years old. Um, the one thing that everybody was saying is that it polarizes the audience. And, sorry, there's a lot of flies out this time of year. The one thing that everyone was saying is that it polarizes the audience and I think the reason for that is because people have a certain expectation for the way that these characters should be portrayed, maybe, I don't know. I haven't seen the first movie so I really shouldn't say too much about it but I think that I came into it not really expecting, you know, I didn't have any expectations as to the way the character should be portrayed and you know the guy starts surfing down Hollywood Boulevard or starts surfing through Hollywood on a tidal wave you can't criticize a movie like that you know it's a farce you can't criticize a movie this silly it's just it's it's nonsense it's meant to be funny you can't take it too seriously um, so I thought it was good I, I enjoyed it I went into it not really knowing what to expect I had a suspicion that it might be the sort of movie that's so bad that it's good and that's exactly what it is a movie that's so bad that it's good and when I started watching it, uh, you know, the dialogue was not very great, and some of the uh, some of the scenes were not that great, and I sort of thought, this movie's really bad. And then, as it went on, I thought, it's really bad, but I think they're doing it on purpose. And as the movie went on, I realized, this movie's actually really good, because it's really, really bad. Um, so, I really liked it. As far as recommendations, I'm a little bit, um, a little bit shy to recommend it to people. If you're the sort of person that is going to take it, take your movies very seriously and say, I want my action heroes to act this way, and you're going to criticize them if they sort of act out of character, and you're probably going to get very frustrated with this movie. If you're the sort of person that's just going to pop it in, uh, laugh at it, you know, I recommend watching it with some buddies and laugh at how ridiculous this movie is, then you'll really enjoy it. So, like I said, that's the only way you can tell. If you're gonna take it too seriously, don't watch it. And if you're gonna laugh, if you're just looking for a laugh, check it out. Uh, so with that said, wow, it just got really, really bright. Um, with that said, uh, you know, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Um, if you like my review, hit like. And of course, please subscribe to my channel.